Hello and welcome to this Fusion 360 tutorial. My name is Donny and I'm a manufacturing specialist from Autodesk. Today we are going to be going through how to create this pumpkin using T-splines and also some of the prismatic modeling tools. First of all, begin by creating a new design. Instead of using the normal design tools, we are going to be using the freeform tools. So in create, press create form. This brings us to a completely different ribbon with freeform modeling tools. Start by creating a new sketch. Select one of the vertical planes and we will be drawing the outer contour of the pumpkin. Go to create, spline, control point spline and roughly draw out the outer contour of the pumpkin, leaving the top open. Adjust the points as desired. And then press finish sketch. Go to create, revolve, Select the profile that we just created and then for the axes, select the vertical axis. Under faces, type in 16 and under symmetry, select circular. You may or may not see the faces. If you don't see the faces, Go to display settings, visual style, and shaded with visible edges only. Press OK. Next up, we are going to create the stalk of the pumpkin. Double click the top rim, press edit to form. And by holding Alt on your keyboard and using one of these drag handles, we can actually create new faces. I want to create the stalk going upwards, so I'll hold Alt again and drag upwards. Press OK. We want to fill in this hole, so go to Modify, Fill Hole, and select Collapse. Press OK. Next up, I want to start creating the creases of the pumpkin. Go to Modify, Insert Edge, and select the center few lines, ignoring the top and bottom edges. As you can see, because we have a circular symmetry, it selects every line on the entire pumpkin. The bottom is not selected and the top is also not selected. Drag this line slightly to, to one side so that it's off-centered. Under the insertion mode, select exact and then press OK. Go to your top view and ensure that you are in orthographic viewing. Find the horizontal line. So in this case, this one is in line with my Y axis. Select the three middle green lines and under modify, press edit form and you can drag these inwards. You can see the shape of your pumpkin starting to take shape and then press OK. At this point, we are happy with the shape of the pumpkin, although we want to change the shape of the stalk to be less symmetrical. So go to symmetry, clear symmetry, click on the body 
and then press OK. Zoom into the stalk, select the top edge, press modify, edit form, and shape the stalk to your desire. Press OK. Next up, we want to create the face of the pumpkin. To do that, we are going to draw a sketch outside of the pumpkin and project that sketch onto the pumpkin. So, let's go to Offset Plane, select the vertical plane, then from the side view, drag the plane to extend beyond the pumpkin. Press OK. Press Create Sketch. Select the plane that you just created and draw the desired face you want. I'm going to be using the line tool to keep it simple. I'm going to draw a triangle for the eyes. and a scary face. Make sure these profiles are highlighted in blue and that ensures that the profiles are closed. Press finish sketch. Go to extrude Select the three profiles. In the options, under Extents Type, select To Object. Select the pumpkin. Under Extend, make sure you select two adjacent faces. This ensures that the face follows the contours of the surface. And under Offset, type minus one. Notice that the extrude operation has changed from a join to a cut automatically. Then press OK. We are nearly there. Finally, we have to give some aesthetics. So, we first want to split the stalk from the body. To do that, we're going to create a new plane. Go to Offset Plane. Select the flat plane from your front view, drag it up to the desired point, and then press OK. Go to Modify, Split Face, then select the pumpkin's face. Under the Splitting tool, select the plane and then press OK. Go to Modify and Appearance, or you can press A on your keyboard. Unfortunately, there are no pumpkin materials in the Fusion 360 Appearances library. So instead, I'm going to visualize the color of the pumpkin using plastic. So, in the search bar, type PLA. I'm going to drag orange into my design. I'm going to drag black into my design. And I'm also going to find a wood material to represent the stalk. I think this walnut looks quite nice. So, first off, drag the orange PLA onto your pumpkin and then make sure you select faces to add materials to individual faces. Select the three faces for your face and drag the black PLA onto that. Select the stalk and drag your wood material onto that and then press close. 
And there we have it. We have just created a pumpkin using T-splines and some prismatic modeling tools in Fusion 360. Thank you for watching.